Well, it's the time of year when the American Red Cross says it struggles to get enough blood donations. 24-Hour News 8's Zach Horner was in Kalamazoo earlier today learning more about a yearly blood drive with a special focus. The American Red Cross Holiday Blood Drive, a tradition that spanned over 30 years in the Kalamazoo area. Now this year is the third year it served to honor a local officer that lost her battle with breast cancer. Kalamazoo Public Safety Officer Sergeant Lisa Zook, a longtime blood donor herself and later a blood recipient. She lost her fight against breast cancer just weeks before Christmas in 2015. Now the American Red Cross keeps her memory alive while the community comes together to give life-saving blood. She was a good person and you could rely on her. And uh, this makes us happy and sad at both time, at the same time. Um, but this is good. It shows the respect people had for her. People come in here on a busy Christmas Eve morning and they're taking the time out to come down here in, in her honor. And uh, that says a lot about Lisa and it makes us very, very proud. Organizers say around 200 people came out to donate today and that it's Lisa's memory that makes this blood drive a success. To know that someone like Lisa donated blood before her illness and she received blood when she was ill, they know for sure people like Lisa are getting the blood. The Red Cross tells me that just one pint of blood can save up to three lives. I spoke with donors today telling me why they came out. You know, we're able to give blood. We have the blood to give, and there's so many people who need it every year that it's just a small thing that we can do. Merry Christmas! 95% of the population will need transfused blood in their lifetime, but only 5% give, so I think it's important for me to continue to do that. This Christmas Eve, the legacy of an officer who served her community lives on, and the life-saving blood from donors helps others like Lisa fight to hold on. It's for a good cause, and the fact that it's in her honor is especially important to us, and we just want to thank everybody. The American Red Cross tells me they're always in need of blood donations, and if you'd like to learn how you can donate in your local area, go to redcrossblood.org, or you can see this story on our website on woodtv.com and follow the link. In studio, I'm Zach Horner, 24-Hour News 8.